Scott Hoyle, Lockheed Martin Production Manager for Littoral Combat Ships. The Littoral Combat Ship is the Navy's newest class of ships. It's a reconfigurable, high-speed C-frame. Gives the warfighters the ability to change out mission packages to meet mission needs. We're in Mission Control Center, or MCC. This is where the weapons are controlled, where the missions are controlled. This is the heart of the ship. The ship is fitted with two defensive weapons. We have the rolling airframe missile launcher back aft, and up forward we have the 57 millimeter gun, which is capable of firing over 200 rounds a minute. To support special operations, the ship can get in quickly, deliver an asset, and get out safely. This ship contributes to a complete maritime dominant strategy by extending the sensors packages into the littorals and linking back through communications networks to the cruisers, destroyers, and aircraft carriers of the Navy. This ship draws about 12 and a half feet of water. This allows us to sail into the littorals around the world. The water's close to shore. It's the brown water versus the blue water of the deep ocean. By being able to sail close to shore, we're able to address threats in more places around the world. The propulsion system is water jet based. We have four water jets that are built into the hull. It doesn't give us any appendages like propellers or rudders. These water jets are, are very powerful. They're about, um, about two meters across and they pump about a million gallons a minute of water each, every minute. LCS is a fast ship. She can sail faster than 40 knots, which is about 45 miles an hour. LCS is a highly automated ship. The ship is controlled not with a large wheel, but with a set of controls similar to video game controllers. The LCS is smaller than the other ships that we have in the Navy today, but at 115 meters, or about 378 feet, it's not a small ship. As we were cruising along, I was standing on the flight deck looking out the back, this rooster tail that was coming up 20, 25 feet out of the water, and I thought back to all the times, all the hours, days, weeks, and months that I spent on this ship, and I thought how great it feels to be associated with the finest warship of this century.